Hey, what's up, my dudes? Today we're going to be looking at another build order tutorial. It's been a while. I was waiting for the patch to come out, and then I kind of got busy with school, so I didn't really put anything out. Um, but we're back, and we have a build order, and it's the best kind of build order. It's a TVP build order. That's right. We're doing it live. So I learned this build today while watching... Who was it? I was watching Hero Marine stream and I saw him do this. I don't know if it's his original build or where he got it from, but it was really, really cool to me because it's against the normal TVP meta where instead of just dropping three Widow Mines, YOLOing it into the natural of the Protoss, you actually drop Marines. And um, it, can, it can do more damage. So we're going to be looking specifically at that, okay? I don't have any words to say. We're just going to fast forward. So it starts off with uh, gas first, and then we go, obviously, Reaper into Reactor. Um, the thing that a lot of people question is whether or not you should SCV scout. I SCV scout in TVP. Why? Because if they proxy a Stargate or proxy a Gateway, I like to know about that. You can hold those builds without SCV scouting, but it's a hell of a lot harder to do. And if you see it coming earlier, then it just makes things way easier for you. So I send that 17 scout out, and then if a probe comes in, obviously just put a worker on it. I'll, I'll literally just leave this worker repairing <laughs> the guy on the barracks. Like, because this probe, all this probe is going to do is just bounce up the ramp and down the ramp and trying to harass you. So I just try to minimize my oh, mental anguish. <laughs> So the, really the only thing I'm looking for when I scout is if he has a nexus. I was just checking the gases here to make sure that he wasn't, you know, doing anything fishy. But I go back down and I see the nexus, so everything looks pretty normal. Going to throw down my own command center after the racks, of course. Pretty, pretty, pretty standard opener for us. Um, and then immediately we're going to throw down our factory as soon as we have 100 gas afterwards. Now, whether or not you want to actually move out with the Reaper or not is up to you. Some people like to just scout for proxies with the Reaper if they don't SCV scout. But since I did SCV scout, I know that he does have the Nexus and that he's going to be going either Adept or Stalker. So I choose to send the Reaper out in an attempt to keep whatever he makes at home. So, like, if he were to send his Adept to my Natural, then my Reaper would just kill free probes. So the goal is to keep him away from my base by sending it. Um, so like I said, you follow it up with a reactor and then a second gas after the factory. Um, I try not to be too risky with this. I want to keep the Reaper alive with this build. You'll see why in a few moments. But um, just if you see an adept and there's no probes or anything, just kind of chill. Don't be risky about it. You're just kind of making sure that he's not doing anything fishy. Really, you just want to be looking at what units he's making. If you if he makes like two adepts, it's likely that he's going for a Stargate opener because of the gas. But most players will just get a Stalker and then go Twilight. Um, so you get a Hellion out of the factory first. I like the Hellion opener instead because if he did rush an adept over, it's actually way easier to kill the adept um, instead of using a Whittle Mine to chase it down. It's just so much more convenient. So you just make Marines, and then it goes Hellion, Whittlemine. And the Hellion's going to go join the Reaper, since I'm kind of watching the exit of his base. I know nothing's coming towards me. I should be poking up here like one or two more times, but it's kind of risky to do with two Adepts, because if you get tagged once and he goes two Adepts, then he can just shade and kill you. But overall, it's okay to just chill there. So we're going to be dropping with the Widowmine and six Marines, and then while the drop goes down, we're going to move in with the Reaper and Hellion to the natural, or the opposite, or wherever you attack, to make things more simple. Um, and then you throw down two depots right about now-ish, and not get supply blocked. I try not to mention supply depots when I do build order tutorials, because that should be something that doesn't really need to be explained. <laughs> um, so these get swapped immediately afterwards. Of course, I built a tech lab after the Widowmine. And then we're going to be going, I'm going to pause here to explain this, depending on what he opened. So if we did see that he was going Stargate, um, I actually wouldn't have gotten this medevac at all. I would have gotten a Viking. And then on the swap, I would get a Raven. Um, and then if you saw Twilight or anything that kind of led you to believe that DTs might be a possibility, I would also just get a Raven here. 
Um, but since I didn't really, I mean, it was, I didn't really see anything, but I'm just going to be going Banshees, which is the normal kind of transition. You get two Banshees with Cloak. Um, this gets a Tech Lab because this factory is going to make two tanks and then this starport's going to make two tanks and then we're going to make two barracks that swap off with Definitely both of these ready. and that's going to start our stim and combat shields uh, um so i mean we'll watch this happen i'm going to go to the main with the drop i've seen hero marine like drop here and then run into the natural with the widow mine and uh, with the hellion and the reaper like just you know mix it up do whatever makes sense to you I actually get to kill a stalker and he pauses at the worst possible time in this game but while that's happening like these run in and he's distracted and all of his units are in his main dealing with that and you just get free probe kills all at the same time if you're like if you have the multitasking to do it you can still get kills with these if you kind of maneuver around and use the medevac boost to your advantage so like i said you build two barracks while this is going down and two banshees two tanks Pretty straightforward. Try to keep the medevac alive if you can. It's not always possible. Sometimes you can get hard countered. <laughs> um, he shouldn't. Ha they shouldn't have blinked by the time you do this drop. He does now, but I don't think he did when I flew in here, did he? Yeah, it wasn't done yet. So that's okay. Um, back to my vision. So we're gonna wait for the two banshees. You can send the first one in. I've seen people do do it either way. Honestly. It's up to you, like if you want to just send the first Banshee to the third base and kill probes while there isn't a shield battery there. It's totally an option. I like to wait for two, just in case the Protoss plays safe and does build a shield battery right away. Because if you have one Banshee and a shield battery, you actually cannot kill probes. Um, I threw down a third gas around the time I threw down these two barracks. And then you get an engineering bay after all of that. And you want to start your plus one attack, but I did not do that this game. <laughs> Which ended up being pretty bad. <laughs> so start your plus one attack, okay? So I'm gonna swap these off. Get your stim right away. Combat shields can wait a little bit because you're usually a little bit tight for gas right now and you're not really attacking before stim is done. So since combat shields takes less time, it's okay to start combat shields later. Um, so yeah, of course these both get reactors and you're just gonna make widow mines and medevacs gonna get your third gas your third command center and this transitions into a normal tvp build but you get the advantage of just getting that little bit of extra damage done early game a lot of protoss players don't actually expect the banshees either i've done this a few times already and nobody really has an observer prepared like i was able to get quite a few workers killed this game uh so you go up to your five racks plus one should be halfway done Re and then you just play TVP. I'm not going to go too much into like what happens the rest of this game. This is really just about the opener, so we're just going to end it there. Um, if you guys have any questions about the build, because I'm sure you do, because I'm terrible at explaining things, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you in three to four business days. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if not... Um, I'm sure Avila will welcome you in his Twitch channel. If not, uh, I love you very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Keep on keeping on, my dudes.